Hey guys, so the combine is just pulling in. We're gonna be harvesting our corn today. So this will be actually my first time filming any grain corn harvest on my channel. It's the same business that does our chopping. They also have a combine. They were here a few weeks ago doing our soybeans. This is actually a folding corn head. I didn't realize that. Hook it onto the trailer to move a good distance, but from field to field, they can fold it up or go on the road for a bit with it. When we harvest soybeans, we'll run a uh, gravity wagon and haul the beans in, but with corn, it's gonna come so fast that they're gonna be using their grain cart and they have two trucks they'll be running. It's actually a chopper head as well. Get these blades underneath that spin if they want to and they'll beat the stalks up. Dutch just likes to chase mice. She hasn't met a groundhog yet. I don't know if she wants to or not. We have three fields we want to do, plus we have a neighbor that has a small field he wants to sell it to us. They're just about done with this first one already. It's good to see that the stalks are really dry. We want to make corn fodder out of this for bedding. Possibly want to feed some of it too, so I was hoping to be able to get them nice and dry. Not much moisture in these at all. That's not something every corn head can do. It takes from 30 feet wide down to 15 or maybe a little more than that. For a custom business like this where they're moving from field to field all the time, it makes a lot of sense. For us, they're doing about 30 acres. They would have had to detach the head four different times for 30 acres. This sidekick actually has some towing capacity. I think I should be able to pull this cart over. He doesn't need it right now, but I'll bring it up to the main farm. semi load was 19% moisture 15 is dry corn so we're gonna have to pay for some drying Those stalk choppers on the head take some extra horsepower to run, some extra fuel. But it is really nice, even if you're not going to harvest the fodder, it really breaks the stalks up. That way they can 
decompose over the winter a lot better. The plan is to harvest a bunch of corn fodder off of this. The issue in this field, it seems like the stalks have a lot more moisture in them. It's actually two days later. They finished up the corn the other day. Really wasn't much for me to do there. They made pretty quick work of it. Got a little bit of rain then that night. Now we got some sunlight starting to dry things out. We're gonna see if we can make this corn fodder this week. We're gonna rent this bat wing mower. Someone just dropped it off for us to use. That has to be clipped in there. Uh, okay. I think I have the hoses set up how I want them. So this machine here, just a big mower. We have uh, used a flail chopper in the past when we did corn fodder, trying something different. So this is what it looks like right now. The stalks are all chopped up really good from the combine head. Still have this foot tall stubble that's standing. So we're gonna mow this off and kind of stir everything up, get it off the ground a little bit. Now you can see what it's doing here. Definitely some moisture that we need to dry out. The problem is once you get into November like this, the days are shorter and we don't have as much heat. So it's harder to dry this stuff out. We'll mow this field and I'll do some of another one. Try to get close to 10 acres. I was hoping to get the corn off a little bit earlier this year, but it wasn't drying down too quickly. I got the two fields mowed. It's uh, pretty dry, at least on top. There's definitely moisture on the bottom against the ground. The mower just cut the stubble off about six inches off the ground. It's gonna clean this mower off and fold it up. The next day here, I just went and picked up the neighbor's rake. Planning to rake it all up this afternoon. We got some more good sunlight. So I'm going to rake the more distant field right now because we're going to round bale them this afternoon. And then tomorrow they're coming to do the big square bales. We like to keep it interesting, do different shapes of bales. It is the next day, coming out to check on this field. Trying to decide if I wanna go through and rake it and flip the rolls over, or if they're good enough. Yesterday they came and round bailed the field that's farther from home. And they're coming here in a couple hours to, to uh, bail this, make some square bales. Flipping the rolls over, I don't want to go too fast or it'll throw it too far. But uh, it's gonna help it dry. We got a nice breeze going today, good sunlight. It's gonna help a lot. I got the rake dropped off with the neighbor, and then we have another neighbor that has these big flatbed wagons. I think it would almost be worth us owning one like this. Pretty handy. So we're waiting now for the guy to come and bail up the square bales here next to us. We wanted to make square bales because we can run them through a chopper like we do with the straw. So we'll do a bay of straw and then a bay of fodder. We can use it for bedding. And we're also thinking if it's clean enough to feed some to our heifers. The square bales we want to haul in and store somewhere here at the farm. And the round bales we'll take down the road to our heifer farm and we'll use those to bed up this winter in that barn. Gonna get ready to stack the bales in here. 
Got my friend Mike helping today a little bit. It's a Saturday. He's not at work today, but helping me out. I think we're gonna try to put him right there. Get the sprayer out of the way. I guess the other option is we can move the drill over to the center so it's easier to get in and out. Got ourselves a nice gap right there. Maybe we'll lay some plastic out in the ground so that we don't get moisture up into the bales too much. Stone floor likes to kind of stay wet all the time. Just saw the balers starting down there. So Mike's gonna take the wagon, we got the skid steer, we got our bale forks on here. First bail didn't quite work out right. He had a little bit of alfalfa left in his baler or hay or whatever this is. Got a sweet 4320 tractor, open station. Twenty-four bales on there. It's a pretty good load. Should be able to fit it all in two wagons. He's got a few more passes to go. It's nice with squares. You're not wasting any space on the trailer. Versus the round bales. Got a bit of 
of a tight turn with a little hill here. I think it's a pretty solid load. Just want to take it easy. Make sure I get this on camera in case something goes bad. It's kind of nice with YouTube. You got a little bit of insurance there. If something goes wrong, at least you got it on camera and can uh, use it for clickbait and whatnot. I'm convinced some of these guys are getting their tractors stuck on purpose just so they got more content for their channel. got everything in stuck it in this little shed here so yeah I'm not sure how great of stuff we made there's definitely some moisture in some of these stalks all right thanks a lot for watching guys that was the last harvest for the year still have to pick up those round bales which I'll probably do that next week sometime it's a nice thing with the round bales they can get rained on it doesn't hurt them as much they kind of shed water I'll probably uh, catch that in another video so appreciate you guys watching See you in the next one. I feel like every video ends with me walking towards this door. That's because I set my camera inside here. And then I do my editing and stuff in my office. So it's kind of funny how that goes. All right, see you guys.